Welcome back to Tabletop Tactics and welcome to an all new season of the league. To celebrate the launch of our app and the Tabletop Tactics Open League, the team are taking their favourite army starting with BSI and Warriors and my very own Grey Knights. Before we get into the lists, let's take a quick look at how you can join the league at home for free with our new app. Would you like to be part of a global community of players who battle it out, recording your games and scoring points to increase your ranking in an ongoing league? Well now you can bring the excitement of events right to your home, local shop or club in the Tabletop Tactics League. It's completely free to join and start playing now. Just download our mobile app from the Apple or Google Play stores, create a free account and register your faction. With faction locking for the season, there's no meta chasing the latest and greatest army, just mastering the faction you love in a like-minded community that wants to have fun. Once you've decided on a faction and a list, you can battle it out amongst friends or seek new challenges, including us right here in the studio. Just find an opponent who is also in the league and record the game results in our app. Submitting your scores couldn't be easier. Once you've finished your game, find the league season you're playing in and search for your opponents. You then input the total victory points scored and your opponent then checks the scores and inputs their player pin to verify the results. Once updated, you can scroll through the league rankings and see your new placings on the leaderboard. With rules of engagement that are designed to be simple and fun, each season's rule pack will be organically updated as required and available to view in our app or on our website. So what are you waiting for? There's never been a better time to download our app. Get ready to slay the meta and join the Tabletop Tactics League now. We're back, new season of the league. My favorite army of all of 40K is here, the Iron Warriors representing the Chaos Space Marines today. Hopefully this time, with a bit of luck and a bit of ingenuity, I can uh, successfully slay the dragon, which is the current reigning defending champion, AKA Lawrence, AKA the spider, and uh, cut down these gray knights. Show them what it means to be a true Lord of Chaos. So, my army is being led up, first of all, by a warpsmith. This warpsmith is my warlord. Um, the warpsmith has mark of Zinch, um, and he also, because I wanted to take the eye of Zinch, as a relic because I feel like in the past I've really struggled with two things. One of them is having enough command points to do exactly what I want to do and also having a large enough amount of units to be able to get onto objectives etc etc. I then have as my second character and final character a Chaos Lord. The Chaos Lord is here to lead a unit of 10 chosen. The Chaos Lord is Mark of Slanesh. He's got a Demon Hammer and a Plasma Pistol and the Intoxicating Elixir, only because I had a few points left over at the end. The Chosen Squad is unit of 10. So this uh, Chosen unit is also Mark of Slanesh, of course. Really good because they're so quick. They can advance and charge, advance and shoot. They are gonna all be in a Rhino as well. I then have some more inventory. I have two units of five Terminators. Now I've always got on really well with the Terminators. So I wanted to use them again. Traditionally, I take them in a unit of 10, but I'm doing two units of five because I wanted better ball control. They are Mark of Nurgle. The captain has a power fist. All the rest of them has a have a cursed weapon. So I do have one Reaper auto cannon in there as well because um, I really like them. They've sort of come up clutch in the past before. So I thought I would continue that tradition with Ernest. I then have one more unit of infantry. This is a unit of four obliterators. Again, one that was a bit of a mainstay with match playlists of days gone by. Still really, really good. I'm taking them as Mark of Zinch because I really like the ability to use the strat where you can heal one and also bring one back from the dead. If you don't kill two of them, more than likely those two will be back in the previous turn in my command phase. It's such a powerful stratagem. That is all my infantry units done. I then have some vehicles. I've got two Venom Crawlers. The Venom Crawlers for me are brilliant. They're very cheap for what they do. They're very quick. They're good in combat. They're also good at long range firepower too. Uh, killing elite infantry is their speciality. Um, they are both Mark of Nurgle because I like the um, sustained. And then we also have two Forge Fiends. Now I've been toying with the idea of the Forge Fiends, but I can't get away from them. This is why I'm taking a Warpsmith because I can give one plus one to hit, which is really good. The Ectoplasmic Cannons are brilliant at range. They can really just delete units without too much fuss. These are also both Mark of Nurgle. I'm taking triple Ectoplasmic Cannons on these. Tough enough to be enough of a threat for your opponent to put in enough 
resource to deal with them and then there's still one left afterwards which is cool and also the wartsmith can, bring, uh, can heal one up which is very nice indeed and that's the list it's nice and simple it, it's more infantry focused than I've done in the past I, as I said I wanted good ball control I wanted to be able to get onto the objectives uh, as quickly as I can all the infantry is very resilient three wounds on the chosen three wounds on the terminators lots of wounds on the obliterators so again Lots of resources to go in to remove them, where everything else hopefully will still be alive for long enough to delete everything else and claim victory for the Lords of Chaos. There we go. Let's see what the Grey Knights have to offer. That list is coming up next. Hammers of Titan fans, we are back straight out of Titan with the Grey Knights. That's right, it's the second league in a row that I'm running Hammers of Titan. I know many of you would be expecting me to be running the Drukhari today. But I'm going to be level with you guys. The Drakari changes in the recent data slate are so good <laughs> that I actually felt it might just not be that fun to play because I'm purely a Kabbalite player with Drakari and my real main love are actually the Grey Knights. So for the rest of this league season, to go with the launch of our league app, I'm going to be running the Grey Knights. So let's go over the list. It's 1,995 points. I've got another variant, which is 2,000 points. I'm not sure if I picked the right one, but if I lose, maybe I'll switch over to the other one. So heading up this force is Kaldor Drago himself. He is the Warlord. To be honest, I think he's an auto-take for Grey Knights, especially if you're trying to, trying to run a tasty list. And he is going to be accompanying a unit of five Terminators with, of course, all of the trimmings, a side cannon, a banner, and an apothecary. So it's really good. Then we have more characters in the list. We have two accompanying librarians. These guys are absolutely vicious. There's quite a few ways to run them in the Grey Knights as solo assassins, but I'm actually going to be having them in squads. They're going to accompany two five-man Terminator squads, bringing me up to 15 in total and giving me some really chunky units which can hopefully kill in combat and hold objectives in equal measure. Now both of the librarians do have enhancements. We have first to the fray, which will be useful because I can protect a unit and bring one down turn one if I want to. And the other one's got sigil of exigence, which is also a great protection tool because if I get targeted, I can redeploy uh, anywhere nine inches away from the enemy, which is really cool. So those are the characters and those are the Terminator units. We then go on to the battle line where I've got two strike squads. I'm a big fan of these guys for actions and just holding objectives in general, making them sticky for me. Uh, they do work and they basically get me points to win the game if possible. Then I go over to two new things. Because the Grey Knights have had a bit of a glow up in the recent data slate, I've got two Dread Knights. The Dread Knights are back in. I was running Land Raiders before. I really wanted to try the Dread Knights now with their new improved hitting hammers and their improved heavy side cannons. So I've got heavy side cannon on both and I've got heavy incinerators on both. Um, they are still pretty vulnerable, but they do have decent firepower now and they kind of have to be dealt with, which takes heat off of the rest of my army, which can only be a good thing, right? Then finally, this unit is just bonkers. I've got, Cal I've not Caldor Drago, I've got Castle and Crow <laughs> with the Sword of Antwerp leading 10 purifiers. These guys kick out so many shots that at you actually can't quite believe it with their purifying flame and four incinerators. Cr Crow just buffs them, giving them an extra shot anyway. Plus they're pretty good in combat. And with the way that I can miss the Dimos and pick them up and redeploy and all this sort of jazz, it just becomes really nasty. So that's the list, 1995 points. Hopefully the Hammers of Titan will do me well this league and for the rest of this season. Let's see what the mission is. Here we are! Jeez. And here you are! And here we are with the all new League app. <gasps> it's live right now! Oh, I've got it as well. Download now, it's free to play at home. Get involved! Come on now. So we're going to record this match in our own in-house tournament. Yep. Uh, first, uh, well, first game of the qualifiers. Mm. Grey Knights versus Iron Warriors. I'm very excited about this. I wish you the best of luck, Mr. Oh, the same to you, sir. Should be lots of fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so for the notes at home, I do have a unit of Terminators in reserve, uh, Deep Strike Reserve with their librarian who has first of the play. So I can Deep Strike turn one. Do you have anything in reserve? I have my Obliterators and two units of five Terminators. That's lots of Aters for today. Fair bit. And my uh, Chosen and Chaos Order in this here Rhino. Right, okay, 10 of them. 10 of them? Scary. Oh. 
Shall we roll for first turn? Please, be my guest. Hey! It's a one! Ah! I rolled a two! You knocked my one into, into a, a one. one! Yes, your dice is now forever cursed. Bell Omen. Well, well, well! My command phase, I've drawn two cards, both of which are not great. I have assassination, and I have attempting target. You can have the one in the middle. Under. No way. You can have that one. I didn't see that one coming. For anyone on the looking at the top down, it's just in here. Yeah, right in the middle. Demonstrate with my tape measure. Um, yeah, so no points will be scored this turn. It will mean I will get a command point, but I can at least spread out and um, be very um, scary and take some objectives. The movement phase begins with my Rhino. I'm going to move my Venom Crawler separately. I'm just going to sort of go through him like this. Uh, the Rhino is advancing so he can get safely onto this objective over here. And then the Venom Crawler will scuttle on behind. Oh no, his tiny spike. He leaps across. He doesn't. That's, that's cinematic excellence for you. Uh, he's also on the objective. Can't see anything, so he will stay there until later on. That's the end of my turn. I don't want to go out too quickly and do myself a disservice by getting blown off the board in the subsequent turn. I've got the range to be able to pick things off from afar, so I don't want to go out too quickly, lose the cover and um, be out of position. I have moved up enough with the Chosen and the Rhino and the Venom Crawler to take that left objective for the time being. The center one I had no chance in getting, so I'm going to leave that as it is. The Venom Crawler could have gone onto the far right one, but again, would then be very much out in the open to get picked off by some of those Grey Knights units. So I'm going to take it nice and slow. I'm going to get rid of my first two cards, Assassination and Tempting Target. They weren't worth it. Um, Tempting Target's gone anyway, so that, that's that. So I get another command point, which is nice going into the next battle round. Um, yes, going to play it safe and see what the Grey Knights do in their turn coming up next. Right, it's my turn one, and uh, I have managed to get capture on me outpost. I don't know if I'm going to get that this time. Might be tricky. We got a little cultist on there. Yeah, you got something. He's made us flamehead down there. Okay, uh, I've got no prisoners. I would like to take flamehead as a no prisoner, <laughs> and uh, I also, at the end of your turn, um, I've removed both my Terminator units and the Purifier units, which, as per the new rules, I can now bring them back down so you'll have deep strike. In my turn one. That's neat. It's, yeah, it is neat. <laughs> okay, so with uh, no further ado, let's do some teleport <laughs> striking. The Nemesis Dread Knight <laughs> uses his advance and shoot ability. And the strike squad will also use their teleport shunt ability to also advance six. This Dread Knight <laughs> teleport shunt this way. Good news, everybody. I have Deep Strike redeployed. Yes. Everywhere. Uh, I've not used any stratagems yet because um, I'm saving my two little CP up just in case I need it for something like a reroll. The purifiers are going to open up this day. I've rolled the incinerator hits off camera. I've got 14 hits on your cultists, unfortunately, including Flamehead. How do you're, you feel about this that? This is your first mistake. Straight six. <laughs> straight six. Toughness yes. three. Yeah. Twos. Right, now, this is quite interesting. I'm going to tell you why. Tell me. I've rolled four ones. Okay. That leaves ten remaining. Yep. It's minus one AP, and it's ignores cover. So what you're telling me is that the rule dead except Flamehead. Is he is invulnerable to flame, because he is inherently flame. You do, in fact, only have ten cultists, don't you? Yeah, they're all dead. I'm going to open up with a... Come here, man! So, Vortex of <laughs> on my, your Venom Crawler for my... My best, my best Vegeta <laughs> impression. Right, that was Being very good. blown up by Kamehameha. Oh, Vegeta, so cool. Right, it does go off. Vegeta! It's not, it's not... I didn't blow myself up. I was actually expecting that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I do 2d3 mortal wounds on you. That's nice. It's very nice, yeah. It's just the three mortal wounds. Just okay. A, just a little appetizer. A little tickle. Okay. A psychic tickle, um, is it? Uh, yeah, it's a psychic tickle. Oh. Then I'm going to go on to my purge soul, oh. uh, which is. Um, da, 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 da. I will just use the, the standard one. Run into hit. Ba, da, da, ba, da. Oh, to hit. That's very mm. nice. Oh. Um, this is strength six. What's your toughness, sir? My toughness is. is, is Assuming it's good. Large, mate. I think it's nine. I do roll a six. So I do wound you. It, it is nine. Two AP. 
Minus two. It's minus two. That means it'll be on my neighbor side. It's minus two. Nope. Okay, matter. that is three damage. Oh, very nice. So I've done six damage so far. Uh, and then... Oh, it's damage three. It's damage three. Oh, boy. Yeah. It's just one shot, but it's damage three. Nice. Uh, cool. That's the librarian done. Then what I'm going to do is the side cannon from that unit. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, that will be all missed because it's a heavy weapon. Right, actually, turns out the Psy Cannon, um, it's been a hot minute since I played Grey Knights last, uh, is not a heavy weapon. It's a psychic weapon, so I did hit you once, but I failed to wound because I needed a five anyway. So, moving on, and of course, the Storm Bolters actually did take a win. Hey! <laughs> so, storm Bolters. Some nice damage there. Uh, I'm going to move on to the second Kamehameha. Very good. Okay. I'm going to, this is onto my Forge theme. It is, yeah. The front one, I'm yep. going to use Dark Obscuration. Oh, I can't see you. You can't see Some me. Well, you can see me tactics. a little bit, exactly. Now, this is prudent because since the FAQ, the range of my Nurgle part of that has moved up to 18 inches. Yeah. So normally that back rank of Terminators wouldn't be able to hit me at all. No. So. But I can now. But you have now stopped the Dread Knight from targeting you, which is really cool. So uh, let's go with the Harvey Harvey. Oh, it's a six. Oh, boy. That's Big Kahuna Burger. Two, two D3. That, 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 that's Big Kahuna Burger. That's more than two D3. That's two D6 mortal wounds. Two D6? It's a two, two D6. What? It's two D6. Oh, okay. <gasps> Five, six, seven, eight mortal wounds. Come on, Wow. Okay. Be a good news. What the hell was that? I know that's the, that's when it goes really well. It can also go really not well. They're I don't think it can go that not well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the purge soul. Oh good, there's more, is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marvelous. That's okay. <laughs> I hit you on a six! What does that mean? Seven D six? I now need a five or six to wound you. Okay. Oh, oh I'm so one. unlucky. Damn. Oh. <laughs> uh, right, my Storm Bolters did nothing. Oh, the Psy Cannon now from the same Terminator unit. Mm. Uh, mm. Hit you twice. <laughs> There's a Psy Cannon, you see. I wound you once! You swine. Yes. What's the AP? Yes. Are they AP1 still? These ones are AP1 still. They haven't affected uh, anything else. Damn it! Yes, but I think this one's only damaged two. This one's only damaged two. So you just lose another two wounds. Good news, everybody. I have Kaldor Drago. Right, what I'm gonna do is discourage him from k Dog. Okay? Mm -hmm. He's hitting on twos. That's three hits, I'm sorry to say. My Nurgle. Anti-Demon <laughs> two. That's now. Uh, this is on the four tree, by the way, everyone. That's three wounds, Beard. Now, this is minus two AP, okay? And it is damage two. Oh, fuck. That's four damage. <laughs> <laughs> Does it blow up? <laughs> no. <laughs> I saw the six for a minute and I thought that was going to be a big slap in the face, but... Now the rest of my unit has nothing to fire at. Oh, what a shame. The Dread Knight over here now will fire into your Venom Crawler. We got the uh, Heavy Side Cannon. Threes to hit. Oh, they all hit. Okay. Threes to wound at strength ten. Dong, 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 dong. That is three wounds, sir. Three, three wounds. wounds. AP two? Three wounds. The AP is now two. Ah, oh, I'll put a pass okay, one of them. Okay, okay. Uh, the damage is three, so that's six damage. Oosh. Um, I do have the heavy incinerator, so let's do that too. Okay. He is in range. It is just the five hits. Three, four, five. Uh, and no wounds there, because I did need fives on that occasion. Phew! Oof! Okay. Are you finished now? I think I pretty much am, you that. know. Yeah, I, so um, Drago is too far away to make a um, reliable charge, even with his plus three. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, <fair> <laughs> <laughs> was Goodness even a, me! Was even a six. <laughs> anyway, he's too far away to make a reliable charge, so I think I'm just going to keep him here and save that ability for a future turn. Nice. I will, however, declare a charge with the Terminators over on that Venom Crawler. Okay. Um, it's a double one, everybody! Oh. I failed a charge. I'm not going to spend two CP to reroll it because of the box static. That is my turn. Okay, let's talk that turn over. Uh, not bad, I didn't get capture any enemy outpost. I couldn't actually prognosticate an arrival close enough to the objective with the way the cultists were and the way that the crates were. So, because he had 10, all 10 of his cultists in range and the purifiers are only OC1, um, even if I deep struck with prognosticated arrival three inches the other side of the objective with the crates, I couldn't get enough 
models in there to take the objective from him and I wouldn't have been able to see the cultists to kill them uh, with the purifying flame. So instead I've deep shot down there to kill the cultists. It's still his because the cultists made it sticky in his turn. So he's going to get his full primary now. So it's a nice little start for Beard there. Uh, and I've kind of got my purifiers out in the wind. But if he does want to try and come back, which I'm not sure he will in this instance because I can miss, I'll just pick them up. So they are definitely safe. And they're behind the ruin from where his chosen and the venom crawler is. So they're okay there. Drago, look, Drago finished off the Forge Fiend without even needing a charge. The initial plan was soften the Forge Fiend up, get a charge off with Drago. That's why I saved all my CP as well, just in case I need a reroll. But with it already destroyed, we're off to a good start. The Venom Crawler, I've damaged that heavily as well. <sighs> Shame I didn't make the Terminator charge to finish it off, but I mean, that's just greedy at that point. He's going to have to try and move it out and at least charge me to try and kill some stuff first anyway. So look, I'm in a good position. I'm going to keep capture enemy outpost because I can absolutely get that in, uh, I think, in my next turn. Let's see how Beard does in this turn though, because if he hits back hard and he's got things like obliterators and so forth, could be really nasty for me. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello. To Battle Round 2. Thank, Thank you, you for joining me. You're, I've you're welcome. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Good. We hope you're happy to be here too. <laughs> um, I've drawn my cards. I've got Ares and Arlen Extend Battle Lines, which are both very, very doable. Okay. I've already got Extend Battle Lines. Yeah. Thanks to Flamehead yeah. and his, and his yeah, worthy sticky, sacrifice sticky to Chaos objective. Gods. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Aerodynar is very doable because I have obliterators that want to come down in the middle of the board, so that's very nice as well. So I'm just going to go right ahead and move my stuff. First thing to do in my movement phase is move my very beleaguered Venom Crawler up to here and attempt to charge before he is ultimately destroyed. Next up, the Warpsmith is moving forwards and the Forge Fiend is coming to support as well. The Forge Fiend wants to get everything he can in line of sight. Should also mention he's got Buff on Ballistic Skill because the Warpsmith gave him his uh, treats. Next, my Venom Crawler, another beleaguered one, is going to move over here, try and take on the Dread Knight. Next up, my Chaos Lord and his Chosen disembark from the Rhino. They move forwards, potentially at their folly, to engage with the Dread Knights. They are advancing, I only rolled a one, which is annoying, but it's far enough because they can advance and charge. And finally, I'm just gonna move back a little bit of my Rhino to attempt to charge with a tank shocky charge. I'm, I'm gonna spend the CP on the Mists of Deimos. No! Goodbye, purifiers. <laughs> Shooting face. <laughs> my Warp Smith and my Forge Fiend are going to shoot into your uh, K-Dog and his crew. Fair. So I've got a Flamer first of all from my Warp Smith. Everything is going to be doing dark packs unless I say otherwise. And I'll tell you if I fail in my leadership checks. I've got one shot with my Flamer. Yes. I fail to wound you. Fair enough. My Melter Tendril. Yes. I hit you. You're nice. I wound you on a six. That's, that sounds great. Does it do anything additional? Hopefully you fail your save. I do. Oh my goodness. Well, oh, I think hello. one's dead. That's uh, seven wounds. One is dead. Melter do. Great success. Next up is the Forge Fiend, AKA the Fiend of the Forge. Nice. Same squad, how many yep. shots do I get? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because it's blast. Could have been better, could have been worse. Could have been about the same. You know what I mean? That's really nice. I'm hitting you on two. Okay. Because the Warpsmith gave him the treats. I rolled two ones, but I did roll three sixes, which is sustained. Ooh. No fives, interestingly, but that's fine. Um, I'll be wounding you, I'm afraid, on two. So three, ten. Ooh. Right in the Terminator. Ooh. Look at them sixes. My goodness. Ooh. Um, oh, I forgot to do the thing. Uh, they are actually devastating wounds. I'll have to do my um, on the sixes. So I need to do uh, my ones afterwards, but that is six devastating wounds. Oh, nasty. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Sorry, it took me a while to compute that. <laughs> me too. There, I didn't six. know that they could do devastating wounds. It's huge. It's oh. six, six, six devies, which yes. is pretty wild. Uh, yes. And there's three normal saves to make as well. Yes, so I've got to do three regular saves, uh, which I make two, and then that would kill a Terminator. Yeah. Because um, it's damage three. Yeah. Uh, strength 10, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so then I've got, uh, normally I'll just be dead, but Drago actually gives the unit four plus feel no pain against mortal wounds. Which is nice. So, but... right, the first one. Yes. I pass two oh, and nice. fail one. So one wound has gone on the Terminator. Okay. 
The second batch on that same Terminator. He's still alive on one wound. Uh, no, he's dead. Because you, you saved... I saved two each time. Oh, only one went through last time? Yes. Oh, forgive me. Do carry on. Uh, <laughs> the third batch. He is now dead. Okay. He's soaking him up, though. He did. So you've killed one Terminator there. And then the next one. He's still alive. The next one. He is now dead. Okay. So that's two Terminators killed. And this one. He is alive on a wound. So he well, killed two Terminators. Much worse. It could have been much worse. So Drago's mortal wound ability uh, there uh, to four out feel no pain was really good, but yeah. my goodness, death wounds. <gasps> oh, do I explode at all with my hazardous? No, no the, the opposite. opposite. <laughs> Obliterator's up next. I'm going to continue trying to plink away at this unit over here. <laughs> it's getting close. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so the Obliterator's, I'm going to go for the Ruinous Salvo. There's no blast here, annoyingly, because the unit has been decreased, but the unit's been decreased, so I can't complain. Yes, that is um, true. I've got 11 shots. Yep. Um, and these are going to be lethals on five. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've spent the CP on True Silver Armor to reduce your AP by one. Yep. Okay, okay. Right, so two wounds. Two wounds. Thus Lethal far. Hits. Now it'll be three is to <clears throat> wound. Okay, so only five wounds actually. Still pretty five good. Five wounds go through. Three, four, five. Okay. So three up armor saves now. Oh, very oh. nice. Very nice. I'm going to move away from that unit now. They're powering yeah. up. God, it's cold sweat in this room. <laughs> <laughs> so my Venom Crawler was thinking about shooting them, uh, but because of the um, uh, ignoring my minus one, that's no bueno. So he's actually going to shoot into the strike marines over there by the yeah, objective. Yeah, sure take me off from the objective. With the excruciator cannon. Yep. Right, I missed you a couple of times, but one, two, three, four sustained. Nice. Which is nice. Thank you, Papa Nurgle. What's the strength on these guys? Six. Nice. Three's to weak. Oh! Oh, that's real nice. Oh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve wounds. Minus one, please. Twelve wounds. They're that's... excruciating, I'll have you know. I, I, I gathered. Mm. Uh, minus one. I fail three. Uh, so, and damage is... Damage two. Oh, you kill three of them. <laughs> right. So I've finished up my shooting phase. It was all very plinky, plinky fire. And you so, plinked a lot of wounds off my Dread Knights. I did. So between the Terminators, between the Chosen, the Chaos Lord, and the Venom Crawler, I've got the uh, Dread Knight down to five wounds. Yeah. Dangerous times. Yeah, I didn't overcharge any of my plasma pistols because I wanted to get everything into combat. So uh, forgive me, everyone, but I haven't uh, overcharged did try and plink everything. with these as well. I did, yeah. I tried to do some wounds down there onto Drago and the Mad Lads, but uh, sadly didn't get any more wounds. So you that failed is, a dark pact? I failed a dark pact, taking two wounds on my Terminator over there, but that's all the shooting done. Yeah. Now I've got some charges I definitely want to do, and one charge I want to think about. Oh, okay. Um, over here, the Venom Crawler into the <laughs> um, Dread Knight. Yes. He just about makes yes. it on a four. The Chosen <laughs> and the Chaos Lord. Another four. Yeah. Remarkable. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave the Terminators where they are for the time being, I think. That Venom Crawler can't fail. The Terminators at the back are going to attempt to charge into the Strike Marines on your home objective. On a five. Right. I'm going to have a little think about a reroll in the other unit I might charge. Okay. I'm going to do the spend. I have to spend two CP because of Vox Static to yeah. try and get onto that home objective. Okay. So you're going to go for the reroll of the charge. Oh, you do make it very, very nice. nice. Now, the other thing I was thinking about, so my Wartsmith down here is in a bit of a sticky situation. Yeah. Um, he's in front of the psychic might of the Grey Knights, you see. Yes. He's here to help out my Forge Fiend. I've got a sneaking suspicion that might not be there next turn. So, <laughs> this may be uh, foolish, but I'm going to attempt to charge into, uh, into Drago and Pals to see if I can get rid of that Apothecary. If I yeah. don't, Terminate's coming back. If I do... Well, if you kill the Apothecary, back. that's great. Good Figures. tactics, yeah. That's a Four. I, no, I think that's two. That's, that's not unfortunate. Make it. No. no, he doesn't. That's fine. It was. Uh, I mean, the 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 tactic. I mean, it was wasn't there. guaranteed you were going to kill the apothecary anyway. No. I mean, it was guaranteed that I was Drago would have killed you back. Yeah. So maybe not the worst thing, but yeah. that sucked. It would have been cool. I think it would have been cool. It would have been cool. All right, I'll move them in and we get into the fight phase. We'll begin the fight phase over here with my Chaos Lord. So I'm going to do his once per battle chance for glory ability. So okay. I get plus one strength attacks, uh, AP and damage. Ouch. Which is nice for him. Um, his giant green sword is a demon hammer. Okay. It's hard to tell. 
with these it's a it's weapons. a warp weapon yeah it's fine it hurts when you get hit with it it's that's, a warp that's all weapon. you need to know um so they are mark of slunesh so they'll be these will be uh, sustained on fives that 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 yep yeah that's that's five additional hits <laughs> The demon hammer's hungry! Yes! <laughs> He's a hungry boy! Yeah! And what's the strength of this? Uh, well now, for that, for, 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 for that, 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 it is uh, strength nine. Okay, so I'm tough as eight. It's still, still five still wounds you, but this no, is... No, I'm, I'm tough as eight, if you're strength nine. Oh, you're tough as eight? I'm tough as eight. Oh, yeah. well it's three still wounds. Three still wounds. It is also devastating. Okay. So you have one devi wound. Okay. Three ones. But, apart from that, that's good. So two, four, so it's six regular wounds. Two, two and AP four, three. Five. And one has six. just gone straight through. Okay, so six regular wounds. Yes. At four up invulnerable saves. I've already failed four. Oh. I'm assuming your damage is minimum two. It's damage three for this battle. He room. is so dead, oh. it's not even funny. The Chaos Lord does it himself. What a legend. Uh, I don't I need to think... repaint his face now. I weirdly don't, and I do have to have deadly demise, but I am not deadly in my demise. Oh, you, you imploded into the wall. He was more demure than demise. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. We'll move on to the Terminators next. Um, I am doing another dark pack, so Despoilers is still in effect. A Cursed Weapons, first of all. There is one Power Fist in there. Good thing I've done my dark packs and my Despoilers because I missed you a lot. Yeah. Uh, a couple of Sustained, which I'll resolve in a Just second. Is that a five, so three Sustained. Uh, can I get some more hits with these rerolls? Yes. Yes, I can. Uh, so that is uh, seven. Shep. Six sustained. One, two. Ouch. So I got one one more than a full house. Right in my strike, Marie. Well done, the Terminators. Uh, so these are strength five, so three to wound. Oh, not bad. Not bad. So that is three, six, 11 wounds at minus two, please. Please. Uh, damage one. Damage one. That's one dead, two dead, and one wound. Okay. And then we have the power fists. Okay. Winding up. Okay. Uh, I missed you once. re rallying. Three hits. No sustain, though. No. Uh, two's to wound. Oh, of course. Two wounds, minus two. Uh, you kill the one on one wound. Nice. So you kill three in total. Okay. Mm. Ouch. Last bit of my attacks. We have the Venom Crawler attacking the Terminators with his Soul Flayer Tendrils and Claws. Uh, cool, sustained. Lots of sustained. That's uh, lots of sustained. Threes to wound. Oh, I did fail a Dark Pact over there and I have lost a Terminate. Yeah, so this could, could be important, we'll see. Uh, nice, that is uh, six wounds, please. Okay. At minus one. Six wounds, you say? I do say. Uh, I fail one save. Okay, damage so just two. two damage. Okay, so no Terminator killed. All right. This is an interesting one because I am OC2, uh, which I've got OC4 on that objective. Well, actually, you're contesting the objective. If I kill a Terminator, though, I will be holding the objective. All yours. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Nemesis Force Weapons. Uh, lots of hits. It is strength six against your toughness five. Uh, that is three wounds. And it's minus two it you're telling minus me. Two. These That's are, what you're telling me. These are, all I'm saying to you is these are nemesis force weapons. Doesn't matter. Okay. I am the nemesis. You are the nemesis. So you, you do steal the objective means. from me. <laughs> Terminators into your two wing venom crawler. Oh boy. Okay, right, we have hammer hand, but that's only on the turn that we charge, so don't need to worry about that. Okay, moving these misses. That's a lot of hits, that everybody. Is a lot of hits. Right, strength six, toughness. Nine. Nine. He'll be fine. One's gone off the board. Nine, nine, he'll be fine. Uh, that is three, four, five, six, seven, eight wounds. He friend. might not be fine. Eight, <laughs> eight <laughs> wounds, minus two AP. So onto your demon save. Demon save. No, he's pretty dead. Oh, you are dead. Yep, yep. Does yep, he dead. explode? Die, demon. No, he doesn't. This is what we're here for, to take out your demon stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, I get it. Yeah. yeah. We're the Grey Knights. Are you? It's your law lesson for your day. I thought we were the Silver Surfers. Um, Lawrence, I lay down the law wherever I go. 
Not a bad turn at all. I've got Area Denial, I've got Extend Battle Lines, and I'm on most of the objectives bar one, which is very nice. Um, I have uh, forced some Battle Shocks on some units, so potentially the ones that the Grey Knights are holding currently in the home objective and on the right-hand side of the board um, could also be lost, maybe, so that's nice. Um, I've killed so I've killed a, um, a Dread Knight. My Obliterators didn't do so hot. I was so close to getting that damn Apothecary, but never mind. Um, I've done some damage, got good ball control. Let's see how the Grey Knights uh, respond in their turn. Okay, so I've drawn my cards, and uh, so I've still got uh, Capture Enemy Outpost in play. Yes. I've got Assassination. Bum! And that's that Warpsmith, who's really annoyed me, yeah. and nearly directed his Forge Fiends to obliterate Kaldor Drago and friends. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. I target you, sir. I like the, the narrative spin that this it is It makes, going look, in. it writes itself. Yeah. See, so yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> right, now, I'm in a predicament here because you forced two battle shot tests. I did. I do have this objective still because you didn't control it in your phase. Very interesting. But if I failed a battle shot test now, you would subsequently control it because I would become OC2. That is correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a CP, one I just gained, to auto pass these strike marines. Another excellent narrative spin on the situation. Because they are steeled in combat against you. <laughs> this unit here, I'm going to uh, roll for my battle shot. <laughs> we thought we'd do this on camera because you guys might want to see this. They do pass. That's significant. It means that I do get my five and 10 for the primary. because that's the maximum you can get uh, in this particular mission unless I burn stuff. So that's good. Whew. Now, the question is, yes. where are oh, and I picked up the Terminators at the end of your turn, so obviously yeah. with the Librarian, that killed the Venom Crawler because they were no longer in combat, so whoosh, they've gone up into the warp, and they will return presently. Let's begin by moving this Dread Knight. I have, of course, brought back a Terminator for Drago Squad as well. Hello, Drago, with the newly risen Bannerman. And the Terminators here move forward. Okay, both of these strike marines are going to fall back just outside of an inch. They're both still within three inches of the objective. We check that. Uh, so we're going to open up with uh, your favourite, the vortex of Hamihamihar. Oh, not again. Yes. So uh, this unit, I've spent a CP on prognosticated arrival. That's why I'm just over three inches away from your forge fiend. The librarian is peeping at the obliterators. Nice. And he says, Ha! Oh, they, oh, they. Oh. <laughs> it is a success on the two, but yeah. it's not a six, so it's not two D6. Good. <laughs> I think you were as like <laughs> That is five mortal oh, wounds, five, though. Oh my goodness. Oh, does that kill an obliterator outright? Uh yeah, it does. Yes! Ultimate power! <laughs> Okay, rest of the Storm Bolters have fired uh, and pitter pattered, except one wound went through on your Warp Smith. Indeed. The uh, side cannon pitter pattered off of your Obliterators, but now I've got the Purge Soul from the Librarian who is targeting your lone operative Warp Smith. Lovely. 12. Just the regular one. No, 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 not the regular one. No, he misses. Okay, getting exciting now. Storm Bolters from the second Terminator squad have fired into the Warp Smith and done another wound. The side cannon has done two wounds to the Obliterators there, and now we're on the Librarian of that unit. Ooh. Vortex of Doom into the Obliterators. Just goes off for regular. 2d3 mortals. Oh. Five again. Oh, oh that's savage. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to move straight on yeah. and go do his um, Purge Soul into the Warp Smith. Okay. He hits this time. Lovely. He wounds. Right. Okay, uh, the, it is a minus two, Mr. Beard. If oh. you fail, the Warpsmith will it. die. He's dead. Oh, he's dead. So oh what's happening? <laughs> okay, just Caldor Drago. The, the uh, single Storm Bolt went into the Forge Fiend and did nothing. You're on Drago's scourging ability into the Obliterators now. It's three shots. Stop killing my Obliterators. It is three hits because he is Lord Kaldor, the grandest of masters. Yes, yes. Uh, right, this is anti-demon two, and it is ignores cover. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're demons. Yeah, so if it is, I'll be wounding you on twos. I only get two wounds through. They are demons. Yeah, so two wounds go through. You won't get a cover save. This is minus two. Minus so four two. up saves here. 
Oh god! That is unfortunately four damage, so it'll oh. kill the one on three wounds. Is anyone left alive? <sighs> the Dread Knight now will fire at the Obliterator in front of him. Mm -hmm. The Heavy Incinerator will fire at this puppy here. Okay, three, four, five, six. Six shots with the Heavy Side Cannon. That's four hits. Strength ten, toughness seven, so threes. That is three wounds. Okay. Now, these will be four up saves because they also ignore cover now as well. Three wounds. Oh dear. Two go through. What's damage? That's damage three. You've so that's killed six. I killed it with shooting. Oh boy. Oh, savage. That's rough. Beard, I'm on incinerator shots and I got 11. What's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were friends. Oh, we are. <laughs> I'm still. You, you nearly. Oh, you oh look where you're done. <laughs> there you go, he wounded you once. One wound. So the Venom Corner's gonna be, Guess what? He's gonna be alive. Oh, and I passed that it. one. Brilliant. See? Purifying Flames. Yes. Um, I've got 20 shots from the units. Uh, this is pre-incinerators and storm bolters. I'm going into your Terminators here. Okay. And then I've got four shots from um, my boy Crow as well. So we're hitting you on threes here. Castle and Crow. Castle and Crow. Yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, right, and then uh, crow's shots. Okay. Look on, crow. Now, Lim. these wound on twos, Beard. Marvellous. Okay. These wound on twos, because anti infantry two, see? Right, they're minus one AP, ignore cover, so onto three, so that's four, eight, 12, 13. Lucky for some, eh? Hey, Beard? Lucky for some, 13. <laughs> Minus what? Minus one. Minus one. Only damage one. Oh, that's a good roll. Listen here. You've killed one. Yeah. Wait, was one? one One's on two, so I've killed two technically. You've killed two. Just, yeah, you fell for it. So I've killed two. Then I've got the incinerators and I've got all the storm bolters. Okay. What we'll do is I'll roll that off camera because there's a lot of shots. We'll be back. Well, actually, you weren't quite purified. There is still one terminator left after all of the storm bolters and the incinerators let loose. Uh, I did kill all of the Terminators except one. I'm still holding the objective technically, but you do have a warrior there. It's now a charge face. Hmm. I, my large unit of Terminators is going to charge your Forge, forge Fiend, sir. My large unit of Forge Fiend is going to overwatch your Terminator. I had a horrible feeling that yeah, might happen. I, for Flamehead? For Flamehead? For fun? I'm doing it. That's a good idea. Yeah, I like that. For fun! Yeah. For Flamehead! For the Forge. Oh, Three, okay. four, Five, all six, right. seven, eight. That's the same as last time. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll get all those Devi wounds again. Yeah, which is terrifying. It's it's a thing. I oh, if only it was on fives. Oh. If only it was on fives. Oh, it'd be oh, terrifying if it was on fives. Yeah. Well, I do nothing. Carry on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can fail. Really. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, but no. the Terminator's charge, yeah. and then subsequently Drago and his two friends will charge, both get sevens. Oh. Those are the only charges there. Okay. Um, these spellbacks are can't charge. These are too far away. My Dread Knight will, I think, attempt to charge your Venom Crawler. Yeah, why not? So don't need to be holding that central objective at the moment. Six, seven, eight, nine actually might do it. I do need to go over this. Should be fine. This is only two inches. I think I might make it, I'll check. Well, actually the Dread Knight did make it. Um, so we're gonna hit with the hammer. We're gonna see if this new improved hammer is actually good. It's hammer time. It hits on threes now, the Hammers of Titan. <laughs> 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 see, I think I'm cursed with the Dread Knights to never hit in combat. <laughs> uh, Lord Caldor Drago, mm. uh, you'll hit me back with the Venom Crawler in a moment. Well, this is, this is me being a defensive Forge Fiend. Okay, Lord Caldor Drago has unfortunately hit you every single time. <gasps> he is not as dumb as the Dread Knight. <laughs> yeah. The Forge Fiend now anti-demon two. I do roll two once in you know, oh. fairly traditional fashion. Okay. Uh, four wounds there. What's the AP, please? Uh, the AP is th four. Four? Yeah, but you've got your, your invulnerable save. I do. My demon save. The save of demons. I pass two of them. Okay, you only take six damage. Excuse me. <laughs> only six. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll go to my apothecary and the banner bearer. Will you now? Is, is that okay? Yeah, you go ahead. You only took six damage. Only six. I don't understand what your problem is. <laughs> uh, right, here we go. Yep. 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 Uh, okay. Yep, uh, yep, 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 uh, yep, yep, yep. Toughness. 
Ten. Fives. No wounds. Okay, we're gonna have to do the second squad. Well, the rest of the Terminators have struck, and I've actually managed to do ten wounds from the Terminators and a further two wounds from the Librarian. I did remember my lethal hits, which I did get a few lethal hits because of hammer hand. Okay, you've got ten saves to make. Easy. I actually have and 12 saves to make. 12. I'm going to do, do the Librarian first. Okay, so you get four up saves. So I'm going to so save both one. of these All right. as a show of dominance. Yeah, oh, good. <laughs> What's damage? <laughs> You've taken four wounds there. He's got two left. He's got, he's got, he's got, he's got. <laughs> so I'm now going to save all of these in a show of dominance. Yes, yeah, so you need to show, you need to save all of these. It wasn't a bad go. Well, it was a bad go, actually. He's really dead. Does he explode? Did he demise? Nope. He implodes. Nope. Didn't even explode. In a hot ball of plasma. Yeah. Ow. Wow, what a hit back that tone was. My vortexes of doom have really, really, really powered up. And then combining with um, the anti-demon scourging from Drago, I, I was actually quite surprised that I managed to kill all of the obliterators um, in, in just the shooting phase. Uh, the Dread Knight has done more <laughs> in shooting than in combat. Uh, and, and to top that off, the Venom Quarter did actually hit me back and did two wounds to me. Um, but look, I, I'm in combat there. I can't complain. I um, did have a really good time, turn. I've taken away a lot of his really nasty firepower now. I think at this point I might have it. It depends what cards Beard can draw. Don't forget in the ongoing league, every point you score is important. And also, depending on the cards that he draws and what I draw, he may be able to stay in the game and claw something back. We're going to find out. Let's see what he draws next. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Battle Round 3. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I've drawn two good cards, actually. Yeah. Now, look, listen, listen, listen. Go on, listen. tell me. Not looking good. What? The old, the old fourth. Right. Right. I have That's cleanse it. and behind enemy lines. Okay. I can do both. You can. I cannot do much more than that. Okay. But I can do both. But every point you score in the league goes towards the overall league. And you can download the app it's right now. About it. Get onto the app store. Get the app free. It's free. Play with us. Play with your friends, play with everyone around the world. Yeah, no hidden catch. You can literally sign up for free and play games at home. We have the technology. I know. <gasps> the Venom Crawler, feeling very lucky, goes, woo, see you, pal. Over to here, but behind enemy lands. The Rhino, meep, meep, advances. <laughs> Into the center, that was fun. <laughs> to sum up, my shooting phase is complete. Rhino is on the middle objective, can't do a cleanse because he's advanced. The Terminators can do a cleanse, and that is now... Cleansed. Clunned. Or cleansed, yes. Um, the uh, Chosen in the middle have done a wound to yes. your Dread Knight, yep. fear me, and uh, my Terminator did a wound into your Strike Marines Indeed. with his combi weapon. Yeah. Um, I'm charging now into your Nemesis Dread Knight. Okay. Look at that. You, you make it. Look at that. Who saw that coming? <laughs> the Chosen are, have been chosen to fight you. I've done my attacks off camera because uh, sustained fives is a thing. It's been the CB, CP on True Silver Armor. For Lovely. Um, wounding you on fives, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wounds. Nine wounds. Ouch. Ah, effectively minus one now because it's True Silver. Now it is, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, oh, it's not too bad. I lose three wounds. Is that the noise that... Uh, <laughs> that that, that particular dread light pilot dread light, oh. because every time he tries to swing the hammer... <laughs> the power fist <laughs> from the servo arm. I didn't get any sustained. Oh. Do I hit on three? Yeah. Uh, no wounds. What's your toughness? Toughness is eight. Oh. Right, the Chaos Lord, the Lord of Chaos with a demon hammer. Demon Hammer! I get two sustained. That's Ouch. Nice. Ouch indeed. Strength? Uh, eight this time. Okay, so fours. Oh yeah. Three oh, yeah. wounds. Oh yeah. Minus? Minus is two. No, minus is. Oh, it is two. So minus. It's down to one. Yeah. Two go through. There's four damage. Ooh. So four, five, six, seven wounds you do on me. Yeah. The hammer now. Now it is it. You're on force packs what it used to be because I'm degraded. <laughs> <laughs> Two hits. <laughs> I wounded you twice. Oh, you shy. Um, I have. Uh, I've not spent any command points on Infernal Rights because I get to do it for free. Also, 
use. You listen. Why would what, the F, the the balance data slate was just here? Why didn't you, Games Workshop rules people, change it to one CP? I know I'm doing it for free right now. That's what I get. One Everyone CP. Everyone else gets it for one CP. Would you like to have a one CP armor of contempt? I would. I'm sure all the other chaos players <laughs> out there would as well. I, I mean, I'm fine. Because it comes. Oh no, I'm not. No, it's AP. It becomes AP two, right? Yes. What's the, what's the damage? D6 plus one. Oh. Also, I could, if I roll a one, I won't kill a chosen. I kill one chosen. He's been chosen to die. Splat. I didn't charge my Terminator into your guys. I assumed you that you have. Obviously. Should I do that right now? Sure. Let's do it. Oh, do I, uh, did I, did I dark pact? I'm fine. The okay. dark pact, okay. I'm fine. Okay. Right, my Terminator captain. Terminator captain. Yes. El Capitan. El Capitan, okay. We have, I mean, he's not a captain at all. Uh, we have three attacks of my power fist. Right. Prepare to die. I've missed you once, it is sustained, however, sustained. so I've actually hit you all the time. Sustained. It's twos to wound you. Sustained. Sad, one wound. One wound. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right in the feels, isn't it? My, That's a nemesis force my, weapon, right in the feels. My Shall feels. I hit you back? Yeah, go on. Go on then. Go on, go on then, old buddy, old pal. Let me see if you can. Come uh, on then. See if you can give him a good Come old. Come on then. Good old tickling with your sword. <laughs> old buddy, old pal. Oh, so All sad. All right. Oh, that's only four wounds. He's an iron warrior. It's only a proud, four wounds. A proud Terminator of the Fourth Legion. What's He's dead, is what he is. <laughs> <laughs> it's minus two damage two. <laughs> Well, bum, that didn't really go to plan. Charging the Terminator in was a bit of a snap decision, which I probably shouldn't have done because it has lost me a couple of points behind enemy lines. But we live and learn in this world, don't we? Um, so I've got three points for that. I did also get the points for cleanse as well, which was good uh, with the Terminators, but there's so many granites on the board and they just get picked up now and plonked down exactly where they're required. So it's gonna be a pretty difficult road to get back into point scoring territory, but who knows what happens? The cards may be kind, but let's see what those Grey Knights do in their turn. Okay, uh, draw a couple of interesting cards here. Secure No Man's Land, that's definitely achievable. I did pick up my uh, two Librarian Terminator units um, because I knew that I had these two objectives. I picked up another 10 primary now. Uh, I've also um, picked up, what was the third unit I picked up? I don't know. Purifies. Oh, the Purifies, oh, of yeah. course. Yeah, big brother Purifies. Right. Hello, everybody. Uh, I've got Cleanse as well. Um, that I don't think I'll be able to achieve at all this turn. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, certainly the CP I've gained will go on Prognosticated Arrival. Okay, this is potentially probably kill blows, but we'll see. Uh, I am doing cleanse. I bought. Uh, I just moved Drago over there, yeah. and he's brought a Terminator back. Could get within three. We're going to cleanse the objective. Just throwing him onto the objective. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so uh, I'll have that cleanse for three points. I brought both the librarian units back down here. They are going to hopefully nuke the Terminators on that objective. Um, Dread Knight's fallen back and I've done the prognosticated arrival with the purifiers to take the objective back in the center and they're now looking at the chosen. These two brave warriors have come around here to look at the Venom Crawler. So, some big stuff coming up, namely Vortex of Doom. We'll probably show you guys that and then we'll be right back. Okay, we're just gonna do the Vortexes of Doom on camera. Both of them will be going to uh, the Terminators. So let's see, what do I get? They both go off. Okay. I've never been so vortexed it's in all my days. 43 mortal wounds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight mortal wounds. Nice. On the Terminators. Doing a bit dead. Wow, that was quite a shooting phase. Just so as you guys saw, uh, the Vortex of Doom, um, both the Vortexes of Doom softened the Terminators up, but then all of the other five from the Terminators actually didn't kill any more. So you still have those three Terminators there. Mm -hmm. But I will do some charges, hopefully. Uh, then we went on to the Purifiers, and oh my goodness, they unleashed hell. They killed a significant number of the Chosen. And then the Dread Knight, because he can fall back and shoot, also picked up some more Chosen. Yeah. Uh, we did have some pitter patter fire from the two Strike Marines here. Didn't affect the Venom Crawler whatsoever. Now I can charge again with a Dread Knight, because he can fall back, shoot, and charge. So I'm going to charge back into those Chosen. 
and both Terminator units are going to charge these Terminators here. I'll tell you what, we'll do the Terminator charges on, on camera. Do it live! I need a nine. So for this unit, fails. For the unit in the ruin, fails. Okay, okay. so your Terminators will hold and hold that objective. Yep. The Dread Knights, he makes it on a nine. Nice! <laughs> Okay, so uh, I didn't charge with these Strike Marines because actually I'm using them to block him off from coming round and stealing my objective uh, if that's what he wants to do. That's my turn. I did get cleansed for three points. You did points. also kill my Chaos Lord in the last oh, chosen. I, I did kill the Chaos Lord in the last Wait, chosen. Wait, so he's, he's, still, he's still wall. Finally, the hammer of the Dread <laughs> Knight did something, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, so I got cleansed and I did get secure No Man's Land, of course, for the two. So five, six, seven, another eight points there. It's your turn four now? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna need a hot draw. <laughs> yeah, because it's about scoring as many points as you can now. Let's see what he gets. Welcome back. Yeah. So it, it's not been a great draw. But the sun is setting on the other <laughs> <laughs> sort of like we're just watching the end of the world. <laughs> a little sit down, we've been blown to pieces. This is nice. Yeah. I've dreamt of this sun right sunset one last time. Yeah. I don't know why I'm wearing sunglasses. I've drawn Defend Stronghold and Capture on the Outposts. Yeah. Um, two sides of the coin, and yeah. neither of them are good. No, because you um, can't get to my enemy outpost this turn. No, so you, you didn't charge into the Venom Crawler in your last turn, which was actually some good foresight there because that meant that my Venom Crawler couldn't just scuttle on. Right. Which is nice. Um, so essentially what I'm doing, I can score uh, no points there with the cards. Uh, my Terminators are just going to sit pretty, uh, watch the sun go down, and they're going to burn that objective as per the primary mission. Yep. The Rhino is going to sit there defi defiantly yep. uh, until his uh, timely demise. And, and, and that's about all I can do. So I'm just trying to get some more points in terms of like the overall league um, because that will then uh, feed into the rest of our, uh, yeah, of our, our league. league here. Yeah, okay. so we, we're going to play the rest out off camera, figure out what our max points are at the end, and we'll be back very shortly for a summary of the game. We're in the final positions, the end game. Yes. Okay. You can see that things have moved around because I ended up getting Investigate Signals uh, I got Bring It Down as well, Behind Enemy Lines, Defend Stronghold. Those were the four cards I had over the last two turns. Uh, as it turns out, I could get the Investigate Signals because I picked up my uh, models. The Terminators actually finished off your Terminators. Jed Knight finished off the Venom Crawler. We absolutely nuked your Rhino with Purifiers. <laughs> um, so the game ends with me getting 43 of my Mac potential secondary and 45 of the primary, because I also did Scorch the Earth over there to get the cheeky five at the end of the game. Yes, I did not draw any cards in turn five because I was tabled. Yes, there was nothing to, you couldn't score any cards it's with difficult nothing to score any with. Models on the board. Thank you very much for the game, Mr. B. Thank you, what, well what, done. What, what a brutally savage game. It and was it was a bit of a bloodbath. Well, you hit me really, 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 really hard in turn two, and then, it, and then I hit you so hard in my turn two or three, whichever it was, yeah, there was no recovery. Well, it sort of undid all of my all of my hitting because all you brought all those terminators back to life over the course of the next. Oh, I know it is yeah. just it's that's almost depressing. I feel like this game shall be called the Vortex of Doom. Do you feel good about nice. that? Nice, that's appropriate. I feel like I'm in it. <laughs> Still, you have another game to play. Qualifies. You're not out yet. Yes. You have scored points. Yes. So we'll see if you go through to the knockout stage. Indeed, and, and soon. because I've I've suffered a loss, I do have the ability to change my list one time. Yeah. So it's recommendations it's, below help yeah. me out. Maybe there's some cool changes you can make. Yeah. There's definitely the f potential here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not disappointed with the list. I think it was it was a difficult matchup because all of your uh, anti-demon shenanigans. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it, you've just had a bit of a glow up. I've had a glow down. That's right. After the uh, after yeah. the what's it? So this is probably the toughest matchup. Yeah, I agree. The, out of the ones that I'm going to face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not over yet. No, it's not over yet. <laughs> so tune in next time, folks. We'll see. Uh, there's more, plenty more matchups coming, including Ed in this league as well. Which yes. Which is very exciting with his yes. Gene Stealer cult. For now, I've been Lawrence. You've been the Beards. Download the app. Our Servo Skull has has been the Jigs. Download the app. Download the app now, and we'll see you in the league soon. Bye.